Hey everyone, I've got some pretty exciting news. I've been working on this startup for a while now. It's called Cosman. It's an online marketplace that helps patients learn about cosmetic surgeries and then connect with doctors. So I decided to work on this after I got my Botox done and I was like crazy satisfied with the results. And I started telling all my friends like, you guys should get this. But everyone was hesitant. And even when I was getting it for myself, like looking around, there wasn't a lot of good information out there. Everything looked a bit like dodged to be honest. So decided to start this company to help everyone out. Applied to an accelerator like last week. It was like a written application telling them about my business, market size, all that sort of jazz. And then today I'm going in to pitch to them. An accelerator is kind of like a program run by a venture capital firm where they give you some money and then they help you with your business, how to get it up off the ground, how to get your first customers, that sort of thing. Except for this one is run by a university called UQ and they give you $10,000 for no equity in return. It's a pretty good deal. Yeah, I'm keen to yeah do my pitch today. I'm gonna try record a little bit and put it in. Hopefully it sounds all right. Wish me, wish me all luck. Fingers crossed that I go well. After this pitch and interview, there's another pitch and interview next week if I get through. Still a little bit to go. Oh, let me show you my website. Um, so I've made I've made a prototype of the website, only the part that helps people learn about cosmetic surgery. Building the part that connects patients to practitioners is a bit harder, so I haven't started on there yet. But I'll give you a quick sneak peek. Alrighty. This is, this is what it looks like. I've only done Botox for now because that's what I did. Uh, written some content about it. Uh, hopefully this is live. Well, it's kind of already live now. You can you can use it, but it's not very fleshed out. Hopefully in like two months, two to three months, it's like fully live. And then next year, the marketplace, like mid next year, the marketplace is there. So yeah, super excited. I don't think I've been passionate about like anything for a while now till, till this. So Kina, Kina, take it all the way. Um, alrighty. Thanks everyone, see you later. Have you ever looked in the mirror and thought to yourself, I wanna look more attractive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know I definitely have. From that thought to getting cosmetic surgery, there is a lot of soul searching and other personal decisions, but there's also a lot of practical steps that you need to take. Currently, there are almost no tools out there to help you with those practical steps. Patients are just left in the dark, relying on word of mouth referrals from friends or other personal anecdotes. Imagine a world where patients could be comfortable with the procedures that they're after and be confident in selecting a doctor to carry them out. From this experience, I decided I want to make cosmetic surgery easier for everyone. Enter Cosmet. Cosmet is an online marketplace that helps patients learn about cosmetic procedures and then help them evaluate and connect with doctors. Thank you very much for your time today and I look forward to seeing you all at the next interview stage. And yeah, if you have any questions, happy to... It's okay, we're about to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Supply side's pretty good. Like, they, like there's not many um, cosmetic surgeons who would actively say they're looking for clients at the moment. Yeah. As part of iLab, would you consider changing the business model if you could find a way that was better for the business to grow? Yeah, for sure. Like all my competitors have a directory listing business and an advertising model. So it does make me think why they haven't tried the marketplace. Um, so yeah, definitely open to moving the business model. And yeah, you're correct that yeah, plastic surgeon, especially on the high end and more like intricate surgery, supply is pretty tight. Like they have all the customers they need. But I found on the lower end, like with Botox and injectables and things like that, even like laser, there is a lot more supply than demand. Hi! We are on our way to the supermarket because we're having like a cook-off competition. Master so, Chef. Master Chef. And I'm going to be the camera gal. I'll be making entree and James and Eng, they're going to make a main each. So what are your thoughts? Going to, um, well, I'm going to Woolies because Woolies is for the fresh food people. And we're going to Coles because <laughs> everyday low prices. Yeah. <laughs> it's down, 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 down prices. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to go to both and I'm going to find the cheapest shit. Like, I'll go to both, mark down all the prices, and then I'll run back to whichever one that has the cheapest stuff. Okay, comment down oh. below which one do you, <laughs> which one do you um, prefer, Woolworths or Coles or oh, Audi? <laughs> also, um, the budget for the main is twenty dollars. So let's see how things like... go. Surely make it twenty-five. No, twenty. 
that's the strict budget. Okay, supermarket fit check. I'm rocking the Uniqlo Aries and Tee. Adidas shorts I've had since I was like 12 years old. <laughs> and some Birkenstock Bostons. Nice. Any jewelry? Cole's, Cole's tote bag. What's on special? We have a budget. The cute. Uh, just... <laughs> <laughs> how, how do I even keep track of how much this weighs? Like, I just have to hope that it's in, in budget. In budget. Yeah. Or else we need to put stuff back. Oh, fuck, okay. that'd be embarrassing. <laughs> Why are these on special? Oh, That's lower GI. Oh, these are the less carb ones too, and they're on special. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Bargain. Oh, we're kind of green. Oh. Let's have another look. Oh, yeah, it is good. Good thing we had a look, man. Alright. We're on one. How can we choose the perfect melon, James? <laughs> Just get the bigger one since yeah. it's each. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh no, it's six, but it was fourteen dollars a kilo. Oh, I'm an idiot. Such a big Oh, a pack of three, even better. But mind, right, just meet him in that pack. <laughs> James is being so indecisive. It's the Goldilocks, the Goldilocks yeah. amount of that. Yeah. How okay. much? It is nine bucks. So we have. Granny Smith is the best apple for cooking. Do you reckon one's enough for three? We're out of here. We're gonna rush back to the kitchen. <laughs> My total coming in on the budget. $17.43. Ready? Let's go. So we've gotten some flowers with the extra budget. $3 flowers. Nothing is that cheap. Flowers? Flowers for yourself, James? Should we? What do they have? Oh, they're already open. Oh, right, How much are they? Oh, they're two bucks. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, that's in my budget. What a flex. Okay. Run through and scare them. Yeah. What a steal. How to impress your girlfriend. Go to the supermarket at the end of the day and pay $2.50 for flowers. You know, if they wanted to, they would. It's two bucks. <laughs> you think she's under the budget? I don't know. Woolies didn't have onions, so... Not a good sign in general. See, I prefer Coles. James <laughs> prefers Coles. Coles is goals. I do fresh pasta as well. I'm making a seafood marinara. I'm making like like pork With chops, <laughs> sage, brown butter, maybe some apples, and potatoes. She's got no clue I've been alone Wasting away in my room And you're after glow She's living like you used to Guess I still got jokes Might take her home in a strange Cause I think that I like Getting over you We used to race the freeways I close my eyes sometimes I used to watch the sunset Reflecting through your eyes I know your parents like me I never said goodbye this is the spread. Oh, the flowers. That is a vibe already. Look. No, I don't like the shadow. I think that's the shot. I think this is the money shot. Alrighty, we just finished dinner. Adeline's gonna be the judge to Hello. see if I won or if Angela won. Oh, oh yeah, now but yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so both dishes are presented really well. Okay, visually appealing. I would personally prefer the pork because I'm just like, I'm a meat person and then it just, <laughs> she's looking at me. Look at her eyes. Sorry, pasta. <laughs> <laughs> the apple goes really well with the pork and 
I'm a meat person. And Both were presented in a very well foody vibe. I think I will choose the pasta just because the, the pork that I have was Bit bread. I think no, nah, both definitely taste good though. It was very very close. Oh, it's a tie. Yeah. <laughs> leave a leave a comment yeah. down below who you thought won. Give this video a thumbs up. When we get um hundred likes, we'll do another cook comment. There's no way we're getting hundred <laughs> likes. <laughs> like, be I get like, confident. I get like twenty of you. Hundred likes, I'll be participating as well. 